How do you cultivate optimism in the midst of deep challenges? Optimism is a tendency to expect the best possible outcome or to dwell on the most hopeful aspects of a situation. In any dire circumstance, our natural tendency is to become uh, depressed or apathetic or to become self-pitying. And that's why it's vital as a leader, particularly, that we learn how to cultivate optimism. The first thing you need to do is you need to face the brutal facts. I've been um, reading a book lately called Man's Search for Meaning, rereading it actually by Viktor Frankl. I deeply recommend it to you. And what he talks about is his experience in the concentration camps as a Jew during World War II. And what he did to cultivate optimism was to dwell on the most hopeful aspects of getting out of the concentration camp. It wasn't a particular time when he might get out, but it was rather on what would happen when he did get out. He thought of his work as a doctor and how he would address his students and tell them of his experience in the concentration camps and how that experience changed him as an individual and how he could use that experience to be a benefit to other people. So he dwelled on that hopeful aspect of his situation. He also dwelled on the hope of seeing his wife again and that um, reunion with her was something that gave him that sense of optimism and hope. But he never put a particular timeline on that reunion. In other words, he didn't say, you know, by March 1945, I'm going to be reunited with my wife. And that's one of the key things to cultivating optimism in the midst of challenging circumstances. I advise you not to set too many definitive goals and timelines. In other words, by October of this year, we will have got out out of this circumstance and achieved this result. You don't know what the future holds. And so it's a dangerous thing to tie your sense of the future and your optimism to a particular outcome with a particular date and amount related to it. Because if you don't reach that particular outcome at that particular time with that particular amount, it can cause a real crushing burden of defeat in your life. So you have to cultivate optimism in a very intentional way. And the first way to do that is to face the brutal facts. Just like in the concentration camps, the most successful people who got through the concentration camps um, in comparison with others is they, they, they accepted the reality that they weren't getting out anytime soon. So you have to face the brutal facts of your current situation, whatever they may be, the financial facts, the people facts, the market facts that may be out of your control, face the brutal facts, and then get your team together and tell them the truth. Because not only do you have to cultivate optimism as an individual, but you have to cultivate it as a leader in your leadership team and throughout your organization. And you cannot cultivate optimism unless you face the brutal facts and Tell the team the truth about the situation. And you know what? They already know the truth. They already know it in their guts. They already have a sense of it. And so you as a leader are responsible to tell them the truth. And then get busy addressing the issues. With that sense of optimism, with that hopeful aspect in mind, perhaps you're, you're creating in your, um, in your team discussions a picture of where the company will be when the current crisis has passed and you've gotten through the difficult situation. Get busy addressing the issues. Don't be apathetic. Immediately identify your toughest problem and get busy solving that problem. But don't be manic either. Don't go from one um, idea to another idea. Get with your, bus with your uh, leadership team. Address the issue. Make sure that you come up with clear, concise, concrete, and hopefully simple plans to address the challenges that you face. And then execute on those plans as quickly as possible. Because once you execute, you'll then get some response to your decisions and you can iterate as you go. And that sense of, of positive forward momentum will help to cultivate and maintain that optimism in you and in your organization. So make sure that you are dwelling on the best possible outcomes and the most hopeful aspects of your situation and cultivate optimism by facing the brutal facts, telling the team the truth about those facts, and then laying aside apathy and manic activity, get busy addressing the problems that you face with your team in a clear, concise, simple manner. My name is Eric Anderton. Hope you found this video helpful.